inspiration and model for the Crap Science Society of the Philippines was the Crap Science Society of America. Because <clears throat> most of us uh, got our higher degrees from the United States and we were members of the Crap Science Society of America. We attended the, the annual meeting, so we knew how, how a society like that would work. So that was the, the inspiration. Dr. Lantikan uh, is mentioning his recollection that the initiative started with uh, uh, Dr. Loy Crowder. Dr. Loy Crowder was uh, my advisor from Cornell, professor of uh, plant breeding, who came to Los Baños to administer the PhD exam to me because I was under the UP Cornell program. I have a very pleasant memory relating to the creation of the Crop Science Society of the Philippines. It was Dr. Loy Crowder of Cornell University, the PhD advisor of Dr. Emil Javier, who gave us the idea to create the Crop Science Society of the Philippines. And he was so impressed with the performance of his student, EQJ. And he said, look here, guys, if you are, if you are that smart, huh, why don't you form a Crop Science Society of the Philippines? So it was the idea brought to us by Dr. Loy Crowder. Uh, and that uh, started it all. The real uh people behind it are our seniors, Dr. Lantikan, uh, Dr. Uh, Dolores Ramirez, and, and very, very importantly, uh, Dr. Marcos Vega. Provided the legwork, uh, the young PhDs like, like uh, Ruben and myself, kasi kami mga, mga young people, sila Dr. Ramirez, sila Dr. Lantikan, yun ang mga boss namin ng araw. So, Department of Agronomy. But I recollect that uh, uh, one of the ideas was the logo of our society. Uh, if you will recall it, the two blades of grass, stylized uh, blades of grass. Yan, ang inspiration naman yan ay yung si Jonathan Swift. The CSSP was formally organized and registered in 1970. The logo Two Blades of Grass was the brilliant idea of uh, national scientist Emil. He was inspired by a quotation from Jonathan Swift's Immortal Gulliver's Travel. And I quote, whoever could make two ears of corn or two blades of grass to grow upon a spot of ground where only one grew before would deserve better of mankind and do more service to his country than the whole race of politicians put together. Ang ganda, ano? Hanggang ngayon, nagre-reverberate pa yan sa lahat ng members ng ating society. So that raises us as a profession, as a discipline, that we are more important to society than, than, than others. But ang origin niya partly is because my, my specialization was grasses. So, binibiro ako ni Ruben yun dahil kasi ang trabaho mo ay grass eh. Otherwise, dapat mais yun o palay. But this has a, a, you know, a fuller, deeper meaning that elevates our profession as farmers, as agriculturists, as worthy of society's respect and admiration. Of course, uh, it was the formative years and uh, we had to have uh, technically uh, oriented projects that started the annual meetings. I was very pleased uh, with our performance as a society. The, the, the performance uh, was, was great. Uh, we had participation from the Department of Agronomy, ERI, and other uh, departments uh, in, in, in UPLB. I remember Dr. Davide of Soez was there. 
I could not remember about any major problems. Uh, we were uh, doing very well. Uh, we conducted annual meetings and as, as uh, unexpectedly, uh, they were very successful. <laughs> the, the two groups of people who were most, uh, who worked hardest were ourselves and Erie because we have we had so many colleagues there ang karap namin doon ay yung sila Ruby Castro I, I remember Ruby sila Evelyn Balbiano uh, marami yung mga mga taga iri our age group mga young people then uh, but of course with the support of their senior sila Dr. Ben Vergara si SK Didata and uh, so many other people and there is, of course, competition between ERI and uh, UPLB. Those are best paper awards. But these are friendly competition. Pero pagalingan kung sino makakakuha ng mga best paper awards. Ang struggle on is, of course, getting interest into in the society, getting members to participate. It's almost like going to every uh, prospective member personally and then convincing them so it was uh, for those for the organizers it was not an easy job there are there were uh, a lot of footwork during that time uh, professional societies were not very popular honor societies were quite popular it's probably getting to be more accepted but not as well as the honor societies. And there were several honor societies on campus already. When we had the first meeting, it was done here at UPLB. It was mostly staff of the of UPLB then. There were very few outside of the university, although maybe BPI, which is quite, uh, quite close, and then there were others in, in, in the Department of Agriculture. So that was our, the, the first meeting was uh, held, uh, you know, introducing the society, uh, explaining the concept of the Crop Science Society. And it was uh, a one day affair. Now, as the years go by, uh, the, the Crop Science Society became more and more uh, uh, popular. Even then, I think the second meeting was held in Cagayan de Oro City. During that time then, there were a lot of interest from the area, from Cagayan de Oro and the, and the, and the nearby provinces. And that started, I think that was the beginning of, U, of the Crop Science Society holding its uh, conferences uh, in, in the different parts of the country, essentially to draw interest into the society, getting the practitioners around the area. So we were, in effect, gathering them together and, make, and making them members. So then I think this has been practiced all, all these years, even until now. If you are going to say whether it's a, it was uh, successful or not, I think it was very successful in that sense, that the interests have not waned wherever the Crop Science Society conference is held. There is always very enthusiastic uh, participation, especially from the locals. We were also, I'm not quite sure when the Farmers Forum started, but that is another attraction because now it was, it's not only the practitioners or the, the crop science uh, people, but also farmers and other stakeholders.